What is up, everybody? This is uh, Yesik, Captain speaking, and uh, I'm just here, chilling out with Hercule. Uh, just fought a dude a minute ago and dumped permanent glitched out my cape, as you can probably see there. But yeah, no, so today's video is going to be about the uh, team league that the Steam group DBX PVPers is putting on. Um, oh, fucking cape finally went back to normal. Uh, but at any rate, um, so anybody who's in the team league, because uh, that's what this is primarily for, this is going to be. Uh, me recording a video of the matches which is required by the team league because uh, Rilarin, our commissioner, is going to judge them. Um, but uh, for anybody who doesn't, who isn't aware, I'm just going to quickly bring up the Steam overlay here real quick. If we go to uh, get rid of that, our discussions, and we go to the groups that I am in, uh, we can see the DBX team league Steam group that we're operating out of. And it's week one. These are the week one matchups. I am in the anti-squad. I've actually been elected as the team captain. And yeah, so uh, basically what it is is we'll just uh, come over here to the rules real quick. I'm not going to go through these in their entirety, but this is just a general idea of what's going on. It's a two-man to two man at least to no more than five people on a team. And then basically you have a domination type uh, match where it's a 1v1 fight, best two out of three. And then when w the one team has a fighter that loses, that guy is out and the next fighter in their team steps up to the plate. He has a one-on-one -on -one match, uh, best two out of three with the guy who just fought. And they go back and forth until one team runs out of uh, winners. Um, this right here addresses team imbalance. Um, all of this is on the DBX Team League uh, Steam group discussions in the rules subform. Anybody who wants to join this group is absolutely allowed. It's not like an invite or anything. You can just get right in. And we're absolutely encouraging everybody who wants to join uh, to join. Uh, now, again, this is only on Steam. Rolaren is thinking about opening it up to other platforms, potentially, depending upon how Season 1 goes. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick breakdown of what's going on. I will absolutely... Uh, link the other videos in the description down below so yeah enjoy all right so i was gonna do a commentary track but then i realized that the fights go way too fast for that shit so it isn't gonna work out but anyway it's a uh, best two out of three so the first matchup is sober soul versus k701 and just to sort of give you a bit of a uh, brit the fuck is that a bit of a breakdown as to what's happening here um, on the DBX Team League forums, uh, part of the, the league is that we have to post our builds, take a screenshot of our stats, moves, character, gear, everything, and post what they are so that going into the fights, the other team knows exactly what we're going to do. And so basically what you're seeing here is Sober trying to react to what K701 has posted uh, for his build. Um, I don't have the builds right directly in front of me, but you'll see them displaying their skills and, you know, just watching the match here, you'll see what Sober is trying to do and what K7's trying to do. The Sober, man, with the perfect blocks, I just, I, I cannot get over how good this man is at the fucking perfect blocks. It's amazing. Um, but I definitely say that K7 was the hardest matchup for our team, Anti-Squad, in this week one, uh, match just because the dude's build is so infuriating it's like he specializes in keeping you away just enough to get off like a big bang attack combo or something and sober is very much a brawler very much a striker trying to get in on the inside and you know smash your face in uh so the dude's really good at his fundamentals you know dbx 101 what you see in there every time they start throwing out combos uh it's really hard to get in like that for K701, and the dude will punish you. Like, he's missed two uh, victory rushes in a row, and then K701 will just fly right around, wait for it to miss, and then do that, basically, right there. Stun you and then throw out a big bang attack. But, of course, Sober was able to use armored boost and get around it. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, that pink dash move that Sober keeps doing is called Pearl Flash. Uh, it's really hard to deal with. It's really fast, and you can chain it a lot, you can charge it, you can switch up the timing, it's very difficult to deal with, um, but of course Sober didn't have the stamina there to armor boost out of the Big Bang attack, and so the first of the best 2 of 3 goes to uh, K701, so we're about to see the second fight here in a second, and here it is right now, 
So this will be the second of the three fights. Uh, if K701 wins this, then please excuse the Steam uh, messages. There was a lot have those going on while we were filming this. Uh, everybody got into a group chat room and everybody started talking to each other at the same time. and It was a whole thing. But uh, yeah, so Sober's trying to use Shining Soul, or Shining Slash, uh, rather, to get in on the inside. And uh, it's just uh, real difficult to do because K7 knows how to deal with it. Another perfect blocked stunner right there. I guess this is kind of turning into a commentary track, but, uh, you know, definitely trying to keep it lively. And, um, yeah, see, there we go. The ghost hit him, and he went in for a grab. K7 got the grab, and then Sober finally got into a, a nice shining slash to Pearl Flash combo there. And you can hear that is uh, just blocking them stunners. But he definitely seems to be getting the upper hand here, and that's partly just because now he's starting to realize what K7 is doing. He's not falling for the mind games. He got a bit of a grab there, went in for a Shining Slash combo, and then step canceled it into a uh, Pearl Flash. And now K7's on the back foot. And so this is basically what you have to do to deal with a build like K7's, where he's he's designed to keep you out. He's designed to keep you away from him and keep you staggered so that he can fire off his attacks, run in, combo you. That's just how you have to deal with it. Sober obviously showing the great mastery of the striker style that he's got. Dude's really, really good. And don't get me wrong, K701's really good too. So, third matchup. It's currently one to one. And again, please excuse the Steam messages that are happening there. Uh, I mean, it's basically more of the same because once you pick a loadout, of course, that's the other thing is it was only one preset for season one per character and you only one creative character that you could use so it, it's not gonna necessarily change but you'll see that sober and k7 are constantly trying to adjust to how they are adjusting to what each other is doing you know k7 still trying to throw out them stunners like they're gonna work like sober isn't just gonna perfect block them and as you can see sober hasn't yet used victory rush because he knows it isn't gonna work because he knows k7 is just gonna fly around it and make it miss. K7 going in for the grab, but you know, at that range it's kinda hard to deal with. When somebody charges you, um, you see, he thought that K7 was gonna go in for a grab, but you know, they tried to bait him out with a victory rush, but it didn't work. But yeah, no, it's, it's really difficult to, I guess, uh, oh, and so there we go. K7 tried to bust out the fan fist, but uh, Sober didn't go for it. But yeah, no, it, it's, it's definitely really hard to, uh, stick somebody with them stunners just because you know they're so slow oh and a successful phantom fist right there and see he got him with the stunner because he wasn't uh expecting it and then went for the big bang but you know that combo isn't gonna work on sober at this point but yeah if somebody knows you're gonna block when they dash in then they can just stop and grab you and then you know get you out of a block and uh, K7's on the back foot because at this point Sober knows exactly what he's going to do. He goes for the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack to put the ghost behind his back. Which, you know, especially for a, a melee character or a striker, that's a pretty difficult super to deal with. Although, you know, you can still deal with it. So as you can see, Sober took most of those ghosts to the face. And it keeps happening. And it keeps happening. You know, that's his thing. And Sober knocks him away, goes for the Shining Slash combo. I mean, and it's a very effective thing to do. Pearl Flash or Grab or Step Cancel into a combo out of Shining Slash. Shining Slash is just such a versatile move. I mean, but you can see what he's doing here. Instead of, you know, rushing in as a striker, he's forcing K701 to come to him and then waiting for K701 to fuck up and then hitting with a Grab so that he can initiate a Shining Slash combo or hitting him with a smash so he can effectively do the same thing, you know, or trying to get him in a vulnerable position so he can hit him with a pearl flash, you know, because that's just what Sober's trying to do, because he's realized that K701 is always going to try to do, you know, that right there, stun him, big bang attack, or use ghost to open him up for combos. And at this point, he's just not falling for it. And of course, you know, it goes long enough because K701's trying to get around it that the time runs out on the third match and now we go into the second matchup, which is Sober Soul versus Pasta Viking. 
So, you know, like I explained before, uh, Big Bad Wolves team, K701 lost the two out of three, and so now Pasta steps up. Pasta's also a striker, just like Sober, so obviously, as you're going to see, he's going to go in on the inside. Tries to throw out a gigantic uh, meteor there. or No, that's gigantic Omega, but Sober blocks it. And then Sober van uh, baits him into a victory rush, but then, of course, you know, Vanishing Guard being what it is. And Sober's realizing that what he's going to have to do here is basically the same thing, but he's just not going to have to deal with the stunners. He's going to have to deal with that, Evil Whirlwind because Pasta Viking's going to knock him away with Evil Whirlwind and then try to initiate the Shining Slash combo on him back. Oh! See, man, the Flurry of Vanishes. And then he goes in for a non-teleport non uh, Shining Slash and then goes in for some arm crashes and uh, finish it off with a Pearl Flash. You know, it's, it's like I say, it's just this particular moveset, Arm Crash, Pearl Flash, they're very difficult to deal with anyway, but especially when you start adding them into a striker build, because a striker is going to put them in, put themselves into a vulnerable position to get hit with it. And also, right there at the, at the end of it, you saw that he dodged the uh, victory rush, but then when Pasta tried to throw out the gigantic Omega, he just waited, and when he formed the ball, he grabbed it because it didn't start hitting yet. But there, you know, he dodged the ball and then went around grabbed him, but then Pasta got the evil whirlwind off and tried to go into a Shining Slash combo, but Sober just grabbed him out of it, which is something you can do against Shining Slash. When they teleport, you can throw a grab out and they'll get hit when they reappear with the grab and knocked away. And as you can see, Sober just, you know, timed his, com his Shining Slash combo just right so that he could get off the Pearl Flash combo and Pasta just didn't deal with it. Yep, same thing. Pasta tried to victory rush, Sober didn't get it, so he backed off, grabbed, and then when Pasta Evil Whirlwinded, he just guarded. And then he used Pearl Flash to put himself closer again, grab Pasta again, Shining Slash again on the wake up, and then just, there you go, Pearl Flash combo for the win. It's, like I say, it's just so difficult to deal with when you're in close, because Pearl Flash is, goes just so fast. All right, final matchup is Sober Soul versus Tendaris, and uh, Tendaris is using, I think, a key build, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So we'll uh, see how this matchup goes. This is their last uh, fighter, so if Sober Soul wins this, then Anti will have won the team match. He gets hit with a bit of a grab there. Sober, eh, and he, he's not always expecting grabs. Like, when he fights me, he's expecting grabs, but he's not always expecting grabs. Oh, but then Tendaris hits him with the Godbreaker. And that's one thing, is Godbreaker has such a long window, you have to be careful that you don't hit it until they put their hands down, otherwise it's gonna go off. So yeah, Tendaris has the key build here. And he throws out that new Pan Ultimate Maiden, uh, Maiden Blast, I think it's called. But, uh, you know, Sober was way outside of it, so didn't have a chair prayer of hitting him. Throws out an arm crash, but then Tendaris vanishes before he can get the combo off. But then see, you saw what he did there. He jumped and then fired Pearl Flash to fuck with the timing, even to a more granular degree than you were normally able to. Wakes Tendaris up with a Shining Slash, and there you go. Pearl Flash for the win. It's very difficult to deal with. About the only thing you can do is guard it. It can be perfect blocked, but the timing is very precise. Um, best thing to do is to try to step vanish it or something similar to that. So we're seeing the final matchup between Sober Soul and Tendaris. And, you know, at this point I sound kind of like a broken record. It is going to be more of the same, but, you know, as you've so seen in the previous matches, they're going to be trying to identify weaknesses in their opponent's strategy and try to find out how to deal with them. Tendaris with a very well-timed Godbreaker there. You know, he zooms in, Tim Sober didn't go for it, he just grabs him and puts him away. And gets him with the back attack, and Tendaris uh, hits up the Godbreaker, and that's how you have to deal with it. You have to wait. Ah, oh, but then Sober gets hit with the Gravity Impact and almost takes a perfect shot to the face, but a well-timed Armored Boost prevents that from happening. Arm Crash in, Tendaris vanishes, and then he sidesteps the Pearl Flash, which, like I said, that's one of the best ways to deal with it. And Sober so thought he was going to break the Gravity Impact there, but it just didn't work. Sober Soul throws out the Spirit Ball, but then, so, uh, well, gets hit with the Spirit Ball, but then uses Victory Rush to break Tendaris' stamina, and that's something you have to do against Spirit Ball. One of your only options is to either blow up the ball, or use an ability that's going to prevent you from getting hit, well, at the very least, juggled by it. You're still going to get hit by it. 
Oh, attempted to backflip out of the way of the gravity impact, but was unsuccessful and had to armor boost out of the way of the perfect shot. Two very skilled combatants here. And he's going to rush in, try to use a smash attack. But, like I said, you can't hit Godbreaker until they put their hands down. Well-timed arm crash there. Breaks Tindaris' stamina. And he finishes strong with the Justice Combination. And with that, Team Anti-Squad has won their Week 1 matchup.